Okay, so I've introduced parametric equations to you, and you know kind of how they work. Now, what we're used to is a Cartesian equation. And I've shown kind of how they're connected. But in some ways, and in some cases, we might want to convert between the two. So, for example, we might want to convert from parametric equations like this into Cartesian a Cartesian equation for the curve, or the line, depending on what it is. Now, the technique in order to do this is really to take one of the equations, rearrange it to get t equals, and substitute that into the other equation. That's really what the method's going to be. One thing that you really need to look out for, however, is that uh, um, if you have a t squared, you don't want to go around square rooting things, because that's going to throw up pluses and minuses, and you need to take account of that if so. And the equations can get a bit unwieldy if that's the case. And in some cases, this is going to be very difficult if we're not told how to do it initially. So, here is quite a basic one, and I want to show you how this works. So, it's really your choice of which one you rearrange. I'm going to rearrange uh, the first one. So, if I rearrange the first one, I can multiply both sides by 5t, and divide both sides by x. So I could rearrange that to get 5t is 1 over x. So that means that t is equal to 1 over 5x, dividing both sides by 5. Now if I substitute that into my y equals, that tells me that y is equal to 6 lots of t, so 6 lots of 1 over 5x, plus 1. And that's, that's it. I've gone for the parametric equations, these two, and I've now converted it into a Cartesian equation. One Cartesian equation that just has x's and y's in it. And that's how easy it is. So, that's how we can do it with this type of example. In the next video, I'm going to show you a, an example where we have to be told how to do it.